I want to say that uh, I had the distinct pleasure of meeting Don Richard ever since back as far back as 1980. I was on the other side of the fence as a driver. But I said one day I may go on his side of the fence. And that was the choir of knowledge. And if there's one thing that I would like to add is Richard was a giver. So if there's one, there's probably no person in this room that he has not given in one way or another, either mentally, monetarily, spiritually, or support. So to keep Richard going forward with his memories and all the things that he gave, I would like to pass on to each of you to make that a continuous gesture. You don't necessarily have to have money to be kind to someone. You don't necessarily have to have money to say good morning to someone. You don't necessarily have to have money to stand forward and shake someone's hand and mean it. So if we, as individuals and human beings, can carry not only what Richard had to give us, but to make that a continuation of life, his memory, his hopes, his aspirations will be a part of you in each and every encounter with every person that you meet. I have entrusted that as my way, and I'm continuing that. So that when my day comes and I'm lying here, then that is what I have to offer you. Kindness. The most simplest, inexpensive thing that we have to give. And make that a continuation and knowledge. To be the best at whatever we do and do it with kind heart. I can mention that, yeah, there's times when we all goofed off and we ate, but it was good eating. <laughs> Especially when we were late coming back. <laughs> But those in itself are the things that I remember and I hold dear to me. And I want to pass it on to you. Good morning, good faith, and God bless. Starting in 1987 to approximately 2000. And I loved him. He was my friend. What I want to say about Richard is that Richard was an encourager. He encouraged my heart. I remember Richard saying, Brenda, you need to go back to school. The company pays for that. And he kept on encouraging me, and I want you to know that I did it. And I also want you guys to be encouraged on today. Um, because that's the type of person that Richard was. He was an encouraging friend. And I'd like to share with you that that Jesus never leaves us nor forsakes us. And I want you to know to be absent from the body is to be present with God. And I'd like to share with you a poem. It says, you live. Some are worried about you because they do not know where those who are at rest go. They think that you are no more, and so their hearts are heavy and gravely sore. They weep and whine and cry and pray. They curse the darkness and the day. They find no comfort in rest or work. But I have found comfort and peace. With the master's side came great relief. I have found great wisdom and hope so true. I know where you've gone, I'm coming too. I know that you live. You live in the serene babbling of brooks. You live in exquisite poetry written in books. You live in the breezes that blow through trees. You live in the rustling of autumn leaves. You live in the fresh smell of spring. You live in the songs that little children sing. You live in the fall of winter's first snow. You live in our hearts. We nurture you and you will grow. You will live until the last of us have shared your life story, and then we will all be reunited in glory to live in eternity. Richard, you live. Please, any other person come in? The uh, authorities want us to know we have time limits, so we are just going to take one more person. So that we will walk with you, therefore, 